তোমরা কি এইখানে আমার ওয়ালপেপার ছাড়া অন্য কিছু দেখতেছো যেখানে আমি মাউস ঘুরাই দিছি স্যার ওই যে কনভার্ট মিটিং রেকর্ড আচ্ছা ওটা তাহলে ওটা তাহলে আসে তোমাদের কাছে ওকে ফাইন আচ্ছা এটা আমি পরে আপ করব এখানে আমার কিছু এডিট করা লাগবে অ্যাপারেন্টলি অক্টোবর নাম্বার 16 বাকি যত আমি আলাপ করব সো স্টার্ট গিভিং মি নাম্বারস পেজ নাম্বার 2 থেকে কোনো প্রবলেম এনিওয়ান স্যার নাম্বার 3 2 অ্যালুমিনিয়াম স্পিয়ার্স পি এন্ড কিউ অফ ম্যাসেস 0.5 কেজি এন্ড 1 কেজি রেসপেক্টিভলি আর রিলিজড এট দা सेम টাইম फ्रॉम দা सेम হাইট হোয়াই ডু দে হ্যাভ দা सेम অ্যাক্সেলারেশন বিকজ দে আর বোথ অ্যালুমিনিয়াম স্পিয়ার্স হুইচ मींस দে আর এক্সট্রিমলি ডেন্স সো দে আর এয়ার রেজিস্ট্যান্স আর গোনা বি মানে নেগ্লিজিবলি স্মল কম্পেয়ার টু দেয়ার ওয়েট so as they are going to fall to the same height everything are not going to affect their motion which is basically which basically means that both of the spheres will have the same effective acceleration which is equal to the gravitational acceleration 10 meter per second square downwards so that's why they are going to cover the same distance in the same time having the same exact velocity so we can say that uh see যে যদি হাফ কিলোগ্রাম থাকে তাহলে শুড বি হাফ দা পুল অ্যাজ অপোজ টু দা পুল অন 1 কিলোগ্রাম অবজেক্ট বিকজ ইট হ্যাজ 1 কিলোগ্রাম সো 10 নিউটন 0.5 কিলোগ্রাম পার মিটার তাহলে ডি হবে না না ডি হবে না দা পুল ইজ গোনা বি দা পুল হুইচ এসেনশিয়ালি मींस দা ফোর্স ইজ গোনা বি डिफरेंट ডিপেন্ডিং অন দা ম্যাস বাট দা অ্যামাউন্ট অফ পুল পার কেজি অফ ম্যাস ইজ सेम হাফ কেজি অবজেক্ট এক্সপেরিয়েন্সেস হাফ দা পুল 1 কেজি অবজেক্ট এক্সপেরিয়েন্স double the pull but for but the amount of pull per kg of mass is same for both of them yes sir bujhe yes, sir yes sir okay uh, that is the other right yeah ekhane a correct answer hobe hocche at ei je eta the force on uh, q is double than the force of p because of the same concept yeah which is the six on number 6 number 6 the diagram for diagram shows the car going around in a circular track at constant speed which arrow shows the direction of the resultant force on the car uh, circular track a circular motion object a resultant force side towards the center d then it can hand this is the only correct answer page number 4 number 3 number 3 number 3 yes sir 3 বলো কি বুঝো নাই আলাপ করলাম তো এটা নিয়ে কোন পার্টটা বুঝো নাই বলো মানে স্যার ডিটা কেন হবে না what 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 do you understand by this word gravitational field strength what do you mean by this what does it mean um, the force of gravity like by uh, per kg of mass exactly so that is basically the gravitational acceleration yes sir f by m equals to g 
or W by M equals to G. So get, should gravitational acceleration be different for different masses or, or should gravitational acceleration or gravitational field strength be same for all the masses and in a certain location? Yes, sir. Bucho? Oh, it's not, sir. But this is basically the property. It is the object to dependent property. Object to dependent property is the object to mass common. Object mass is the force to be object mass is the force to be able to do it. But how do for per kg of mass, it is measured with gravitational field strength. Yes, sir. Thank you. No problem. Uh, page number four. Question eight. Question number eight. Dekhi. Uh, the density of gold is 19 gram per centimeter cube. A gold coin is two millimeter thick. Each face has a of the coin has an area of 4.5 centimeter square. What is the mass of the coin? Well, this is a cylindrical object. So to the basic idea to find out the volume is the area, cross-sectional area into the height. You don't need both faces. I mean, cross-sectional area into height. Basic a formula for volume calculation for cylindrical object. This is a, this is a coin, which is basically a very thin cylinder. Uh, so this much multiplied by this much with appropriate, uh, you have to convert the two millimeter into centimeter. That's very important because the density is given in centimeter cube by gram per centimeter cube. And then you find out the volume, then mass equals to uh, density into volume. Number seven. Most likely, it a bull or main reason with the budget two millimeter I convert now. Mona, was that the problem? Yes, sir. Exactly. So be careful about the units. It's very important. Number seven, <clears throat> a block of a block is hung on a spring balance. The marker inside the balance is pulled down by the block. What can the position of the marker be used to determine? Achha. A marker position of the marker determine. We can determine. The mass of the block in kg, the mass of the block in newton, the moment, <laughs> moment process of the block, or the weight of the block in kg. Okay, okay, you tell me which one is confusing you. Sir, uh, A and D. Weight cannot be measured in kg. Mass can be measured in kg. The only option among these four, Ooh. which are correct in terms of quantity wow. in it is A. I will the mismatching unit. Moment to calculate or push me a moment to calculate the possibility now. Sir, number 14. Number 14. 17. Please jump. Page number 5 problem. Number 10. Acha, question of Bujo. Two forces X and Y act on an object and produce a resultant force. The scale diagram represents the sizes and the directions of the force X and Y. Force Z balances the resultant force due to X and Y and keeps the object stationary. So Z is a force which is going to balance the resultant of these two, which means Z should be equal in magnitude of the resultant and it should be working in exactly opposite direction so that the three of them can produce a, 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 an, an equilibrium. So the Z force should be counteracting the X and Y. So which arrow represents for Z? Try to understand. I can have X and Y can have a sick you have it. I mean, uh, should we go for a triangle rule or should we go for a parallelogram rule over here? Parallelogram. parallelogram. Uh, why? Parallelogram. What's the logic? The triangle rule to act a point here be the force spread out first. And the line spread out from a single point. The line spread out from a single point. The forces start from a single point. That's the that's the I mean, provident property for a parallelogram rule. Whereas for a triangle rule, the forces should be placed one after another. So, if we have x and y at point of start, we have to come uh, go for the parallelogram rule. So, x and z their resultant of the If you do, if you assume the parallelogram like this and visualize the diagonal, the resultant of x and y should work in this direction. The third force z, which should perfectly balance that out to make the equilibrium zero. That should work in the same alignment, exactly in the opposite direction with the same magnitude. When x or y resultant to the a bar about 10 newton high, that is z force of a exactly opposite direction at 10 newton. So hey, have a look at the at the four options. That which one does uh, does give us that that force? Z is not the force that is the resultant of x and y. According to the question, z is the force that balances the resultant of x and y. 
So which one should that be? C. 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 Bujat sir. Yes sir. Sir, parallelogram rule or triangle rule to add it, but it will repeat code when please. कौन पढ़ता बुझो नहीं बोलो सर आपने जे आपने कौथा डे भालो भाभे सुनते पड़े ना यार शुरू है जब आपने एक तो फास्ट बोल यार यार लोग का मेरी डायगोनल से या हो गया ना रिजल्टेंट हो गया ना है तो सर तो जीरो हो गया ना क्या क्वेश्चन ना पढ़ो क्वेश्चन ना क्वेश्चन ना पढ़ो क्वेश्चन ना पुल्ले बुझ बाते क्या we use parallelogram rule when the two vectors are started from the same point in the diagram. And we use triangle rule when the two vectors are to be placed one after another, which means one of its one of one of the forces end point works as the starting point for the second force. Yes, sir, I understand. If they spread out from the same point, it is parallelogram. If they are to be placed one after the other, then we use triangle, right? Yes. Uh, I don't understand exactly. triangle rule part, sir. Triangle rule part, sir. Triangle rule part, sir. When two vector, vector, vectors are drawn one after another with appropriate direction and scale, something like not not anywhere like this. Uh, if you place the two vectors one after another, one after another what, what I mean is that if for this figure, if the situation was like this, let's say we had one vector that goes like this, x, then we have y. This is the triangle rule. So, if we have a resultant, this is the result. This is the result. And if vector so they are both starting out from the same point. In that case, you need to complete the parallelogram and the diagonal gives you the result. That's the difference. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shurid, do you have a question? Yes, sir. Hello? Hello, Shurid. Sir. Shurid is not here. Can you ask a question? Can you ask a question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Page number six. Anything from page six? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. Sir, 17. Page number 7, 17. That's a 17 thing, bro. 17 is about the idea of manometers. Manometers work, uh, manometers actually measure the pressure difference of the two, two sides of the of the manometric tube. It does not yes. give you an absolute pressure. So if you know the pressure of one of the levels, you can calculate out the pressure of the other level by doing appropriate calculation. The yes, higher, higher level represents the low pressure side. The lower level represents the high pressure side because the high pressure side pushes down the liquid and that goes down and the, on, it rises up on the low pressure side to balance out the pressure. That's the basic idea of working for the manometer. <clears throat> the question says the pressure of the gas supply in the laboratory is measured using a manometer. Which distance gives the pressure of the gas above atmospheric pressure? Which means they're asking you how much is the delta P between the source pressure and the atmospheric pressure above? Sir, please. Delta P D. Which distance gives the pressure of the gas above atmospheric pressure? Yes. So this the question is not asking us to give measure the absolute pressure of the gas. Absolute pressure would be the pressure relevant to the open surface. When including this calculation, the question is asking us how much is it compared to the atmospheric gas? Or how much is the difference compared to the atmospheric pressure? Or how big is it compared to the atmospheric pressure? Or how much would distance gives the pressure of the gas above atmospheric pressure? So they are not they are asking you what is the 
additional pressure of the source. Yes, sir. Which height among all of these labeled heights represent the additional pressure <coughs> that is involved? D should be the additional pressure. Exactly. This is the correct response. Which distance gives the pressure of the gas above atmospheric pressure? Tarle C J label label ta label ta This label on the left side represents the atmospheric pressure. The height no. of the no. C or B or A, they do not essentially represent any pressure value whatsoever. They do not give you any measurable quantity out of this thing because this manometer for all I care could be indefinitely long. I mean, this manometer over here is this much big. So, I mean, let's say I don't have an image version. Okay, I can take an image version out of it. Uh, <coughs> this manometer could also have, could have been this much long and it would still have been the same answer. This millimeter could have been this much long. Oops, oops, oops. Not on the left side. Keyboard is left button up for I guess. Damn it. Sir, I actually meant uh, B minus D, the distance B minus D. I cannot mark it. I mean, J. Both the same. Please put the partition again. I figured they can. What is this? You managed to see over nothing. That is not the answer. Do you get a paste with this and I don't know? Weird. Uh, just, uh, D represents the pressure above the atmospheric pressure because the reason of which the gas pressure was able to displace the oil appropriately. Then what the which distance represents the atmospheric pressure? No distance in this figure represents the atmospheric pressure. You have to know the atmospheric pressure by other sources, which usually is a barometer. Manometer, using a manometer, you cannot measure the atmospheric pressure using a manometer. Using a manometer, you can only measure the pressure difference of the relevant to the two levels. The relevant which level? Relevant to the two liquid levels. Oh. Manometer gives you the delta P. That's it. Delta P. If you want to measure the P of any of the side, you have to know what is the pressure of the other side and then do the necessary subtraction or addition with appropriate logic. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Uh, page number eight. Page number eight. No, sir. Page number nine. No, sir. What the heck? Sir, nine after. Sir, I see. Do you have any comments? Do you have any comments? Do you have any comments? <laughs> I can see that you can speak my mind. <laughs> anyway, well, okay, page number nine. Bolo, problem is there? 21 is D. Hope I cannot. As 21 is this is sure. One kilogram of water needs more thermal energy to raise the twist temperature by one degree Celsius than one kilogram of copper. Why is this? A basic definition, a basic quantity, a specific capacity. The amount of heat required to increase the temperature of one kg of substance by one degree Celsius is what you call specific heat capacity. So water requires more heat, means water has a higher specific capacity compared to copper. It's not about conductivity. Conductivity would imply how fast it heats up. For example, if you if you want to increase the same amount of temperature for both of these objects, water and copper, from the same source heat source stream from the same heat source. Copper would experience the temperature rise much earlier compared to water. 
because copper is a very good conductor of heat. So conduction, better conductor or poor conductor would determine how fast the heat can transfer through them. But it's not about how much heat they require. That's the difference. So uh, heat capacity. Hold up, hold up. Sorry, sorry, hold up. <laughs> Munan, what do you want to say? Yes, sir. Okay, the, the heat capacity represents the amount of heat required to raise the temperature. Meanwhile, conductor conductivity represents the uh, ability of the part, uh, said material to transfer the heat from one location to another, right? Precisely. Anything else from page number nine? No. Nope. Page number 10? No. 27. 27. 27 number. No big deal. 27. A lens is used to produce a magnified image as shown in the scale diagram. Scale diagram. Scale diagram is the actual measurement. So, what is the linear manipulation produced by the lens? So, to me, to me, linear manipulation measurement ni by hanteke. You can either measure by the image height by object height, a ratio korte baro, or image distance by object distance shita korte baro. But actual rule of the measurement ni eta korte baro. Divide korar por jaashi shita korte baro answer. Kotha shita answer measure korar por. Sir, twenty-seven. B is chilo, sir. B is chilo. Mani, or or three centimeters or one centimeter chilo. Yes, sir. Three. Yes, sir. Three. To be honest, it doesn't print of now. My basic command the device to measure crop out to make answer. Papa, yes, sir. It should be similar triangle measure from maintain hub. So the figure is going to be proportionately bigger, proportionately smaller. So the ratio of the lens would always be equal anyway. That works. That's a page number 11. No, sir. 28. 31. 31. A girl is long sighted. Which statement is correct? Asha, long sighted. Mane bujo. Mune se. Yes, sir. The person who can see far side. Mune. Long sighted. Mane bujo. 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 So that they would meet onto the retina, they aim towards a point behind the retina. That's the problem. Okay, sir. So I can't remember who statement is correct. She needs, she sees a close objects clearly than a person with normal vision. No, she sees distance objects more clearly than a person with normal vision. The fault is cut to the converging lens. So she is incorrect. So the image of the close object is the image of a close object from in front of, in front of her retina. No, correct answer is what B. Baki the note I hope you The marks in the A. The A hover no? Yes, sir. The close of this less clearly. Oh, sir, less clearly. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hmm, A hover. Asha, asha, B can have an issue about the C. She sees distant objects more clearly than a person with normal vision. This is not true. Here's the deal. A person with normal vision is able to see close objects and distance objects, both of them clearly. Long sighted person sees further when a far objects as clearly as a regular person sees, but uh, he cannot see close objects as clearly as a regular person. See. Regular person, regular eyesight person can see both close objects and far objects clearly. So, B number question is to say, which is a bit confusing because it says that she sees distant objects more clearly than a person's normal vision. That's not essentially correct. They both see the distant objects equally clearly. What she has, uh, or, or she, she, she has a, as a problem, is that she cannot see close of just more clearly, as clearly as a normal person. So she has a shortage of vision for the close objects. Not, not that she has additional vision for far objects. Not like that. Because uta jodi hoyto, tale shobshomoy sniper sniping korar jonno shobshomoy long sighted manush lagto. But that's not the case. Butchuki? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Beautiful. 12, 31. 
Delicate instruments are often placed in a box to, to screen them from stray magnetic fields. What is the material used to uh, used for the box, and why is it chosen? It has to be soft mm -hmm. magnetic material, uh, uh, or so, or basically you can say it has to be normal iron, not steel, normal iron, cast iron. Uh, the reason we we require it is uh, the reason is chosen because so that magnetic field lines can very easily pass through that material and not affect the hollow space inside. So, oh, it is it a good thing. It is a Basically, what the soft iron does to induction, it lures the magnetic fields away from the magnetically sensitive object inside the hollow space, right? Yes, yes. A man stands between two tall buildings, P and Q. The diagram is not drawn to scale. He is 50 meter from P and 200 meter from Q. He fires a gun and the, and the first two equals he hears are one second apart. What is the speed of the sum calculated from this observation? At t equals to zero second, that happened at t equals to zero. Then one sound is going to travel. Let's say I'm going to label this with red. One sound is going to travel le towards left and is going to come back, covering a total distance of 100 meter. Total distance. Tika? Yes, sir. The sound that is going to travel to the right, let's say I'm going to label this with <coughs> uh, blue, is going to travel over the along this line, hit the building Q, and eventually come back over here, covering a total distance of 400 meter. According to the question, A echo among A question or Mudhe, Achami A instructor Lagsana, A Samusha, A Samar Dotana. Disregard that. According to the question, A echo red echo, red money left sound, among right sound, echo shunner mask and total time gap coche, one second, one point zero second. Now, what I need, what I need you to understand is that how, what is the additional distance this echo had to cover for which it took one second more time? Additional distance. Can Jodo Kon A equal to hundred meter cover could be it again the hundred meter cover could be because it's the same air. So second sound ta basic distance cover could be three hundred meter. Munaim three hundred na hundred. Hundred? No, not hundred. I'm asking you what is the additional distance? Additional distance covered is 300 meter, right? Yes. Eta yes. yes. Additional distance. Additional distance. What is the difference of the distance covered by the two two echoes? The left echo covers a total of 100 meter. The right echo covers a total of 400 meter. So, what is the more distance covered by the right echo? Uh, it's uh, introducing sure. 300 meter. So that 200 meter distance covered is requiring how much time? One second. So you have a total, you have a D of D. Yeah, of 300 meter, you have a T of 1.0. D equals to D by T. So 300 meters per second. A is the formula altogether. Yes. I mean, uh, 100 by X or 400 by X plus 1. They go. Hey, what do they call Loha? Yeah, what do they call Loha? What do they call Loha? All right, airport. Sir, I'm sorry, I'm not a Bujan, sir. Come, but a Bujan. Sir, I'm not a Bujan, and say additional time, Ugla, sir, I'm Bujan. Sir, I'm talking about Abdullah. Sir, T plus one equal four thousand by T plus one equal two hundred by T over over. Sir, I'm. I'm here. I'm just asking. Sir, it's very simple. A sound time. I'm going to at a sign. At a time frame. Sir, it's produced. Sir, a sound time. Just to go show me hundred meter cover. Cover. Ask me. A right side sound time. That's when down. Dig it. Jab. It's hundred meter. So, so access. Sir, that's not easy. That's it. 
এরপরে সে আরো ফার্দার এটুকু যাবে আরো ফার্দার এটুকু ঘুরে আসবে এই টোটাল ডিসটেন্স টু কভার করতে তার টোটাল 1 সেকেন্ড টাইম লাগবে এই টোটাল ডিসটেন্সটা কতটুকু যেটা 300 এই 300 মিটার কভার জন্য 1 সেকেন্ড লাগছে তাহলে স্পিড কতটুকু 300 বাই 1 সেকেন্ড দ্যাট ইজ 300 মিটার পার সেকেন্ড আল্লাহ জোস ইয়েস স্যার গট ইট ইয়েস থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ স্যার নো প্রবলেম আচ্ছা এটা গেল 12 ইন্ডিউসড <laughs> there should be equal positive and negative side on opposite sides right side would be induced only the charge would exist on the closed side because the further side can become neutralized so the correct response is b b so 32 uh, b or 36 bucho keno karon eta electron gula to haranor kono jayga nai yes sir really yes sir so eta ekhane equal amount of induction holo but e jokhon eti thi electron pull korbe right side ta to tomar neutralize hote parbe so ground theke she x electron niye shei part tuku neutralize mane ei side ta shoshoni neutralize thai o khali mane neutral o khali mane neutral blank mane neutral o thik ache sir he bujhte parchi ji sir sure 13 13 one of the thing that covid is proven that the total amount of physical movement that we used to do with all the available infrastructure that we have available was altogether unnecessary think about it life is going on people are having all sorts of stuff at their house they are ordering stuff they are having deliveries classes are happening i mean life is not still the only people who are suffering a lot are the sick people who have to go for hospital for medical care they are at their worst case scenario but apart from that rest of the world is working out the basic necessities of life are being fulfilled am i correct like you are eating you are sleeping well you are not stuck in traffic jam what are the things that you do not do you are not going out for cinema you are not going for going out for for friends hang out you are seeing the same five or six faces for 3 4 months continuously so you are always all with your family that doesn't actually kill you but you are being fulfilled for the requirements of your life am i correct yes sir yeah, but there are physical labor so jabe job the physically give present hote hobe tabe to ye me mane to Yeah, yeah, that is a that is a problem. I mean, people who actually aren't to earn their and their livelihood through physical labor, they. I mean, I'm talking about your specific scenarios. I mean, not for for the holistic part that your life is happening at the cost of nothing complicated. Which means, I mean, the point that I'm trying to get across is that our on a global level, we achieve courage. No, our mother compulsorily, by asking the bill, who it is, who it is, by asking the bill, who are the car. বা রাস্তাঘাটে মুভ করা দরকার এটা কিন্তু আসলে দেখা যাচ্ছে এসেনশিয়াল না উইথ অল দা ইনফ্রাস্ট্রাকচার দ্যাট উই অলরেডি হ্যাভ अवेलेबल টু আস ইন্টারনেট কমিউনিকেশন পিসি এন্ড एवरीथिंग উই ক্যান ভেরি ওয়েল অ্যাচিভ आवर रिक्वायर्ड रिक्वायरमेंट्स বিইং প্রেজেন্ট এট হোম আই মিন एवरीवन ডাজেন্ট হ্যাভ টু গো আউট দ্যাটস মাই পয়েন্ট স্যার ইনপ্রোভাইড এর জন্য অনেক রিফ্রেশিং একটা এক্সপেরিয়েন্স হলো এটা আই এগ্রি Uh, for example amar jonno one refreshing eta experience for two reasons ekta hocche je amake ekebari kono rokom jhamela face korte hoyechhe na abdi number hocche je ami basically lungi pore continue and i mean i mean i mean i mean continuous casual form and it's so convenient ta ke bolchhe notes gulo jiben den nai amra to he ami notes gulo banan bananor kaj ta kora hoyechhe na amar শুধু <laughs> 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 
শুধু শার্টটা পরে দেখাই দিয়ে যে পড়ছি কিছু একটা তারপর তোমাদের না ভিডিও কে অন করে ক্লাস করতে হয় হ্যাঁ স্যার यस স্যার यस স্যার শার্টটা থেকে নিচে যার থেকে আছে যার নাই বাসায় কেউ না থাকে বুঝি নাই দেখো <laughs> 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 So okay, we have a spring, we have a magnet, north pole, south pole. Movement of the magnet is the lower level is moving across the uh, positions P, Q, R. P is the highest position, Q is the equilibrium position, R is the lowest position, and there is a coil of wire which is a solenoid, which is going to work as a solenoid because as the magnet is going to move around, it's going to induce some uh, electricity into the coil of the wire, which works. The bottom of the magnet moves up and down. Where is the bottom of the magnet? Where is the bottom of the magnet when there is no induced electromotive force? in the coil acha electromotive emf induce hoy kon position jokhon amader magnet ta ebong coil ta relative motion e thake relative motion mane hocche one is moving with respect to other now try to understand the basic idea of an oscillating object when this magnet is moving up and down what is the velocity of the magnet at position p ডাউনারে exactly at p position or exactly at r position the momentary velocity of the magnet is zero this is exactly where the zero emf would be available apart from these two positions p and r anywhere in between not only at q anywhere in between across p and r there will be some velocity of the magnet and there will be some emf induced in the coil so which is the correct response <laughs> correct response is b is b a wrong response no um dui to dui khane to zero emf thake is d a wrong wrong option d um yes d is a wrong, let me tell you d is a wrong option tell me why d is a wrong option তোমাদেরকে বলি নাই কারণ তোমাদের সিম্পল হারমোনিক মোশন ডিটেইলস এ মানে ম্যাথমেটিক্যাল ডেরিভেশন ফরম্যাটে নাই বাট হোয়াট ইউ শুড রিমেম্বার যে অবজেক্ট যখন ইকুইলিব্রিয়াম থেকে যে কোনো একটা সাইডে মুভ করা শুরু করে তখন অবজেক্টের স্পিড আস্তে আস্তে কমতে কমতে জিরো হয় আর যখন সে ইকুই যখন সে যে কোনো একটা টার্মিনাল পজিশন থেকে টুয়ার্ডস ইকুইলিব্রিয়াম মুভ করে তখন দা স্পিড বাড়তে বাড়তে ম্যাক্সিমাম হয় সো এট দা ইকুইলিব্রিয়াম পজিশন দা স্পিড অফ দা ম্যাগনেট উইল বি হাইয়েস্ট হুইচ मींस ইফ দা কোশ্চেন আস্ক ইউ দ্যাট এট হুইচ পজিশন অফ দা ম্যাগনেট does the emf induced in the coil is highest that would be only at q buche ke bolche highest emf would be produced when the magnet is passing level q not stationary at level q kon level q te kintu stationary hobe na 
anywhere in between the band will be moving but it would have the highest speed when the bottom uh, end of the north pole end is going to be pa uh, passing across this level so a level of the emf such a basic hobby it i mean additionally bullam because it's just popped in my head Achha, one of your one of our one, one of our students asked for number 36 we're going to look at it, number 36 have a look a kind of carrying wire lies between the poles of two magnets as shown what is the direction of the force on the wire as i basically basically famous left hand rule i'm making a famous left hand rule apply our shoe kori First, we're going to align our in left hand's index finger, left hand, first determine left hand, so left hand. Then aim the uh, index finger from left to right, aiming towards the south pole. Then extend out your middle finger and rotate your hand, taking the index finger as an axis, rotate your hand and aim your middle finger downwards. You'll see the thumb is aiming towards your face. Out of the plane of paper. So that would be out of the page. Yes, sir. Bujaga yes, Sakita. Ryan? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Sir, in plain genius table, the key would have a confusion and say out of the paper bully hotuna. Out of the paper bully hoto. Hoto. Out of the plane of the paper essentially mean that out of the paper essentially means a limited surface. Out of the plane of the paper means an unlimited surface. That's the difference. So flame. by plane of paper, we mean that uh, paper, if enlarged by infinite times, the thing we get is the plane of paper at its current, you know, degree, latitude, etc. Yes, right? yes, exactly. Exactly. Understood, sir. But is a plane applicable for only objects, square and rectangular objects, or can it be for 3D objects? No, as no, well? no. I'm um, tomare. Simple genius. We typically use the term plane to usually mean a uh, flat to plane. Stuff. Typically. But a curved plane is also a plane. But typically, whenever we talk about curved plane, we use the term surface. That's more common. For example, if I tell you, uh, imagine a line, we usually imagine a straight line, but is a curved line not a line? It is also a line, but if you if you try to think about a line, we necessarily imagine a line. So typically in, in regular usage, a line usually mean a straight line. If a line is supposed to be mean, meant as a curved line, it has to be specified that a curved line. So, yes, so plane usually mean a flat plane, but unless otherwise specified, I mean, if the quotient has some uh, uh, element of surprise, we should not be uh, limited towards our, in our, within our imagination that it has to be a flat plane. With yes, us, sir. Sir, plane does have another 2D sense. Yeah, yes. 2D sense, but it can be curved. In appropriate like, cases, yes. 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 Oh, curved like a um, the curved line. Yes. Understood, sir. The thirty-nine forty to atomic physics. Acha. Oh, last question. Please. 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 Also, 13 was who does which for does no does no work. Work hard you know, essential. Uh, the way work is done is that if the applied force causes the object to move in the direction of the force, somewhat in the direction of the force. If the movement of the object is perpendicular to the direction of the applied force, then there is no work done. So what you have to find out from these four four options for which of these answer choices, the information implies that the movement is happening perpendicular to the force. So try to understand that. C. Kunta? C, C. C is the correct response, yes. Number 14. Number. 14 basic idea would say whenever uh, this, ob this, this, uh, this drums are being rolled over this uh, inclined surface and being pushed onto the top of this trailer truck, and we are trying to find out how much work is done against gravity. Against gravity means essentially how much GP is gained. Now, whenever we use GP, the basic formula is MGH. That H means vertical height, not inclined height. 
MJHH means vertical height. So which means for this calculation, you cannot use the two meter because this is at the inclined height of the plane. We have to use the 0 0.8 meter, that's the vertical height. So whenever we are gonna lift up these drums from this level to that level, we're gonna lift them up by vertical height of 0 0.8 meter. That's why that's the information that we use in your calculation. Sure. Uh, can I have the weight bullet is 2000 Newton, which is the MG. And H is this, so multiply B is the correct response, yes. Sir, we have formula that 2 meters then that would have been work for moving it to the inclined distance, right? Not no. against gravity. No, that wouldn't have been that. Because if you want to use that 2 meter distance, you would require the information, how much force was pushed along this plane. This is not available in the question. This is the weight, which is the vertical force. So vertical force is the vertical height is put the Do you mean incline height is put the chai? Tell my incline force to cut the question at the other. Only then can you calculate how much work was done for that much movement. That means, sir, in this particular question, we assume that the uh, upward works force. Achana, let me phrase it this way. We assume that the uh, workman is rolling up the barrel at the same speed. Uh, in the to the vertical distance, the the upward force should also be two thousand newton, and we use that into zero point eight zero to have our work done, right? I'm not sure why. Oh, I, I'm not essentially sure where does the speed come from in this in this part. Agbabalo, I'm bujine. Agbabalo, sir, when the the when an object is moving and there are balance forces that acting on it, then that object is supposed to be moving at a constant speed, right? Perfect. Tawle, the downward force is 2000 Newton. Yes. We don't know about the upward force because it is not given in the question directly, right? So we assume that the barrel is moving upwards the distance at a constant speed. Tawle, I'm not 2000 Newton upward force the as in core formula the input core we get our yes. answer yeah yeah and butchi hey the answer to your question is yes yes i'm butchi thank you sure so that's pretty much it for the paper one let's go for paper two paper two where key power on a wall of you have to go so why no sir Jara kurso tar problem bolo. Jara corona Page fourteen. Sir, three B two the kya tar ban? Three B two. Three number three B two. Acha, take a sir. Acha, ami ekta kach kuri. Other than going by page by page, kano. Ham jodi to mar onake corona hi. Jita hobe random people are gonna read the question and feel like it is onak difficult. It is sada kurte bolii. It ami na kuri. To mar ek jon ek jon ekta ekta kore question bolo. Ami ekta ekta kore question alap kurte thake. You can give any question in, in, in any place, but I'm going to take one question from one person. So uh, Abdullah is giving me 3B2. Sir, I'm going to ask you. Yes, I'm going to ask you. 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 B2. Sir, I'm going to no, 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 no. When the lid of a freezer is open, it quivers. Yes, sir, about... sir, 4, 4, 4. Sorry, sir, 4, 4. 4B2? Yes, yeah, sir. Sorry, sorry. Okay. It's okay. Figure 4.1 shows a kettle containing water placed on a burner of a gas cooker. The gas burner kettle on a shunder. The gas burner is lit at the time t equals to 0. At t equals to 250 seconds, the temperature of the water is 100 degrees Celsius. Okay. Okay. The boiling point of what? Still was Right, I mean, answer to the heat loss, but the mask image as well as a heat loss, such as at high temperature, more heat loss. Is it when a by the temperature increases in this way? So, I mean, just heat loss now, but it was the way that the kettle metal touch heat absorb code, it's then heat is lost by evaporation. You cannot use the term evaporation because you can see over here, the entire kettle is locked up. So evaporation is not going to happen continuously. Even if, even if your evaporation happens, it's going to happen at the very beginning of the uh, heating process, maybe somewhere over here. 
and then as the entire locked air becomes saturated, no more evaporation is going to be allowed even. That's the first point. Because you can see there's a lock, there's a lock. So evaporation is not going to happen, first thing. Second thing is that the, con the, the entire kettle should absorb some heat, which is true. But the amount of heat that the kettle is going to absorb is going to be limited because it is a hollow pot, which is filled up with water. So the amount of heat that would have been absorbed by the metal pot, that amount Q that is contained within the pot would be significantly less varied over the temperature range of zero to 100. Because think about it, the pot might contain, let's say one kg, 1.5 kg of water, but the pot itself might, might weigh only half kg or so. And it's a metal. Water has an extremely high specific capacity compared to metals, typically all metals. So, I mean, your point is that the metal is absorbing some heat from the, from the, from the, I mean, metal is absorbing more heat as the temperature goes higher up. This is true. This is not incorrect. What you said is not incorrect. Uh, evaporation was incorrect altogether, but metal, metal container is absorbing or retaining more heat for higher temperature values. This is correct, but this would not play a, prominent or visible role for this graph. Heat loss is a metal, metal, metal container. The temperature is a hot object. It's a atmosphere. The atmosphere is a hot object. The atmosphere is a hot object. Yes, yes, yes. So, so point is that the heat loss is a hot object. The atmosphere is a hot object. The Sir, it's a hot hole if the temperature is hot. Atmosphere ne ki chakta bolte chhe. This is the hot object. Atmosphere is the cold object. So heat is gonna travel from a hot object to cold object naturally. Yes, sir. Okay. Hasan, toh baalam bolo. Sir, page fifteen, C two. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. A vertical cylinder long coil with an iron core is held in a wooden clamp above a laboratory bench. Okay, the cylinder is currently in series with a battery, a switch S, an emitter and a variable resistor. There is a voltmeter in parallel with the solenoid. Okay. A student closes the switch and current in the process of the emitter has a member current. The battery is once a form of coil in series. The ring of the emitter is going to set the size of the ring for the battery. Total resistance of the series circuit. Acha. And the one that is from her work with the power display in the solenoid. Okay. Go to the problem. Sir, C2. The solenoid is made of copper and the solenoid is that at the time prices. So, the solenoid is made of copper and the solenoid is made of copper. So, 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 the solenoid is made of copper. This one holds an iron cylinder against the bottom surface of the iron core in the solenoid. When he uses the iron cylinder, he stays in contact with the iron core. The iron okay. C2 and eight detail for number one. Bujo, question also a student holds an iron cylinder against the bottom surface of the iron core in the solenoid. When he releases the iron cylinder, it stays in contact with the iron core. It's then why the iron cylinder does not fall. This is pretty simple. As long as current is flow, flowing through the solenoid, as per the question, the bottom end of the core becomes not full. If you bring up another soft iron core and make contact over here, this is this <coughs> solenoid is gonna induce a, 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 a magnet, induce magnetism into that second iron cylinder. So that upper end of the iron cylinder would, would, would be induced to be south pole. North Pole and South Pole will attract each other because opposite poles attract and that way the attraction force would cause that iron cylinder to remain stuck with the iron core. This will be only available as long as the current is flowing because only as long as the current is flowing, this iron core is, will work as a magnet. Bushai, sir. 
ভাই <laughs> এত কথা লিখা লাগবে না এখানে অল্প অল্প কথা आंसर লিখতে হবে এক মার্কস এ ম্যাক্সিমাম থেকে ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ থেকে একটু কোনো সমস্যা ঠিক আছে আচ্ছা পরের প্রশ্ন পরের প্রশ্ন নেছি চন্দ্রিমা বলো স্যার নাম্বার 2 বি2 a skateboarder of 24 kg mass for kg is at the top of a ramp he get to convert shows a skateboarder and the ramp Okay, one point eight meter. Let's get rid of most of them. This is very close to it. Still, the number two forms of energy that it increases as it decreases. One is to check kinetic energy. I will take heat energy. Normal. Okay. Air resistance. GP is how much? GP is decreases. No, the increase will sir. Oh, sorry, sorry. বুঝাচ্ছি <laughs> কোন দিকে হবে তাই না মানে <coughs> এটার আইডিয়াটা হচ্ছে এরকম খেয়াল করো ফর দিস সার্কুলার মোশন টু এক্সিস্ট আমি এখানে কিছু আইডিয়া দিয়েছি লেটস সে উই নিড টু হ্যাভ আ রেজাল্ট্যান্ট ফোর্স ইন দা আপার ডিরেকশন হুইচ ইজ গোনা মেইনটেইন দা ভার্টিক্যাল ফোর্স লেটস সে দিস ইজ সাপোজ টু বি দা রেজাল্ট্যান্ট মোশন ঠিক আছে লেটস সে দিস ইজ आवर রেজাল্ট্যান্ট মোশন হুইচ ইজ রেজাল্ট্যান্ট এফ হুইচ ইজ দা সেনিপিটাল ফোর্স এই সেনিপিটাল ফোর্সটা বেসিক্যালি কোন দুটো ফোর্সের এফেক্ট থেকে আসবে একটা ফোর্স হচ্ছে গ্র্যাভিটেশনাল ফোর্স হুইচ ইজ গোনা ওয়ার্ক ভার্টিক্যালি ডাউনওয়ার্ডস হুইচ অলওয়েজ ওয়ার্কস ভার্টিক্যালি ডাউনওয়ার্ডস as you mean that the person is a, is a, is a point of this i'm showing this vertical downward arrow and the other force should be the reaction force so ekhon idea ta hocche je reaction force er sathe tumi jokhon weight ta ke sum up korba reaction force er sathe tumi jokhon weight ta ke sum up korba tokhon tomar ei blue color er force ta aste hobe which basically means what if this is our reaction force this is our weight and this is our resultant force because the resultant force has to work upwards so resultant force must come from what reaction force minus weight tai na and eta jodi eta non zero value thakte hoy essentially obviously amader weight ta magnitude wise reaction theke kom hote hobe othoba reaction ta boro hote hobe yes ei hocche kahini oh mane ekhane centripetal force ta consider koreche je karone অবজেক্ট <laughs> equilibrium of force or objects without any acceleration they are supposed to be equal okay okay but a object to yeah na mane ki bolen equilibrium e nai yes sir accelerate force
Sir, centripetal force to keep to bujo ben. Centripetal force is the force that causes an object to experience exclusively direction of velocity, change of direction of velocity, not magnitude. Sir, Arik Par will be please. Centripetal force changes the direction of velocity, not magnitude, right? Yes. So in this figure, centripetal force wrote the Arik Par expression could be done, but did it do? It did not change the magnitude. Just to change the just. We have a velocity initially to look downwards. All that centripetal force did was change the direction of the velocity upwards. The magnitude part was dealt with the reaction force and the weight force, right? Hmm. Yes. Okay, sir. Thanks. All right. So that's pretty much it. Okay, last thing, Jira, we saw me to copy that, copy that stack case. Oh, you video take. YouTube channel copy that stack. Put there, check for a jano. Why? Anyone? Sir, you have any copy that stack case or any copy that claim case? I'm not sure. My video was. I mean, I mean, if I copy that, I mean, I'm sure that you copy that claim. And then my video would be uh, say shown to be that it would still be shown visible, but no, but it cannot be monetized. Last thing jeta hoy say chhata my video was uh, was taken out of the YouTube YouTube view. And it ami kuthiya dek bojhe ita stack hai sikina. Kyo jano? Ah, sir, apne YouTube studio to check karte baarana tha. Dakhon kono YouTube studio the. YouTube studio the kela baavo? Ji, kuthiya. Ji, kono ek chhara karta hoy. थैंक <laughs> सर और नो तेरे वीडियो यूज़ कर ले धोड़े की भावे यूट्यूब पे एल्गोरिथम आता है उधर ना वो ले यूट्यूब मॉनेटाइजिंग करते क्यों आते आस्ट्रोल जो आम जो दिया हम मानो करो हाउ टू स्मार्टर वीडियो शॉप गुला वीडियो कॉपी करे एक टा चैनल बना दिला हाउ टू बी मोर स्मार्टर वीडियो ठीक है स YouTube has a lot of very smart algorithms which work for them, which are known as called bots, which works very, 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 very well. Acha, to mande kya? Please note this lam. Atomic physics. Yes, atomic physics. Nice. Darao, notes by korte sen wait. Hey, atomic physics and notes. Tumi jekha nahi tha kona kano? Dekha do. Sir, magnetism and notes. Sir, I will not teach. 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 सर एक टेक क्वेश्चन चिलो एक टेक क्वेश्चन बोले फिर सर ये बोसर ये नोट्स लोगे सर तीन बोसर आगे वो सेम चिलो ना हैं चल ठीक है तो मेरे साथ में समझ जाए नोट्स जो गुला सब गोल्डन यूज़ पता है क्या सर जो ना सब गुला खुजे बैठ कर बोलते हैं आमिता ले कॉपी कर लग बोला ऐसे तो मतलब � Yes, sir. Mulla has shown what? Inshallah. Messenger, uh, mana, messenger, mana position be upura da hojana? I think. Google Classroom mana di the pan? Asa, amake arrangement ata jee bolsilo je Google Classroom ni kash korar jana. Google Classroom de kam ne ki gap jab korar egula ami hano shi ki nai. YouTube definitely. Easy to sir. Mujhe kya mere yeh tiyo rey jo fi Allah ki us bhi sir. Us paas usle access kora shomsho hai sir. Messenger, messenger. ना मैसेज फ़ैलेसेस करो कुछ शोर तुम्हारे को लकी बोला ये था मैसेज के फ़ैलेसेस करने तो ये कहने चाहिए थी मैसेज फ़ैलेसेस करो जो नो 
পিসি থেকে বা ল্যাপটপ থেকে নট মোবাইল থেকে এটা ওপেন করবা তারপর এখানে যতগুলো এই যে ড্রপ ডাউন অপশন আছে এগুলো সব অফ ক্লোজ করে দিবা এই যে শেয়ার ফাইলস এর মধ্যে তোমার দুনিয়ার সব ফাইল আছে হোয়াট ডু ইউ ওয়ান্ট এনে ক্লিক করবা অটোমেটিক ডাউনলোড অপশন চলে আসবে এই ডাউনলোড অপশন চলে আসছে ক্যান্সেল ক্লিক তো করতে পারো স্যার গুগল এসে অনেক ভালো স্যার ওখানে অনেক ফাটা ফাটা জিনিস দাও যায় না গুগল ক্লাসরুমে হ্যাঁ স্যার তোমাদের স্কুলের ক্লাসে সব গুগল ক্লাসরুম হইতেছে না স্যার তো অ্যানসার করে দেই জন্য স্যার তো না স্যার তো অসাম তো অ্যানসার এর মত অসামনেস হইতে গেলে আমার আবার শুরু থেকে শুরু করতে হবে and i'm not kidding this is not sarcastic statement this is a not so much only technology is sir sir unfortunately jeta oneke jane na eta holo somoshya konta je tuna sir onek bhalo ha ha hm eta to sir mona kor nikola tesla mora jawar koto 100 bochor pore tar abishkar gula acknowledge hoyeche yes sir je bujhte hobe tuna sir chhe dile sir school e ge sir remove sir देखो ना সো এটা পরে তুমি দেখে নিলে হবে সমস্যা নাই না আসলে চলে যাও ইটস ওকে পাপি দিব নো ভিডিও ওকে স্যার ডি রেক্স নোটস স্যার এগুলো তো নোটবুক এ লিখতে হবে রাইট না এগুলো তোমরা প্রিন্ট আউট করে নিতে পারো অথবা আমি তোমাদেরকে প্রিন্ট করে পাঠাবো তাও হতে পারে স্যার কবে আমার লাগবে আমি প্রিন্ট আচ্ছা ঠিক আছে আমি পাঠানোর জন্য অলরেডি প্রিন্ট করা শুরু করছি আমি যে পাঠাওতেও ইয়া করছি রেজিস্ট্রেশন করছি বাট আমি ভেরি স্লো আপনি কি কি পাঠাবেন সমস্ত নোটস গুলো নাকি খালি কোশ্চেন পেপার দিব পাঠাবেন সো নাকি শুনো এটা কোন ফাহান স্যার यार ও আচ্ছা এ এস এস নেভার মাই সো তো আমাদের নোটস দিয়ে দিছি সো নোটস তো আমরা নিজে না পড়া নামে পড়তে পারবো আমি এখান থেকে শুনি ফটো আলাপ করি আমি বেসিক থিওরি কিছু জিনিস ফটো আলাপ করব সো ইট নট গোনা বি ভেরি ডিফিকাল্ট ফার্স্ট অফ অল তোমরা আগে এই জিনিস টু গুগল পড়ো এই পেজটা আগে পড়ো তারপর আমি আলাপ করতেছি গো থ্রু সবাই আলফা বিটা গামা এগুলা না বলে এগুলা পড়ব হ্যাঁ যেটা আমি যে সিকোয়েন্সে পড়া সেই সিকোয়েন্সে পড়ো কাজে দিবে আলফা বিটা গামা একটু পরে আসবে আসবে অল্প সময় পরে আসবে স্যার চ্যাট থেকে উড়ে গেল না হোয়াট কি सत्य <laughs> Thank you. 
Done. So, it had a video as a video to the Akai. We do the Halanaka so clear hobby. Pawisana? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oops, oops. Oh, my bad. Kishansha. Are this a refresh with the Sakahinigi? Refresh with this again. I mean, I'll type good about the Sina. Sir, one screen keyboard is the key shop by Kurki Kurti. You should buy Kurki Kurti in the PC and screen over the keyboard on it. I'll ask you people like Ben Amaraja Monoha, OJ Amaraja, right pair a connector button and chapur silo, which I Jahana Jamaraka say. I'll press school refresh the same. Facebook <laughs> To Mohata, the Chrome is It's not about the Chrome. The Arbus could say, I'll lick about the tsunami. I refresh it. What the hell? A yard, sir, a shop like a new one to ask me about it. It is a trace automatically. Can I see a trace? It's a man who can also button press corona. It's a good action to see Con control button automatically registered with Sastro Joe. The virus might be Corona. Yes, I'm going to crack software down current. The agent when I say that. Yeah, I'm going to say I'm a somehow control button to automate now. Control button to automatically register with the city. Control R for the city of our way. Control R delay refresh. Somehow, my. Left control ta barbar automatically register hoyte silo. Samajhiya chhe problems of koi thele. Jee 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 onashi ram. Keyboard a boy shise butcher. Keyboard ta change kora darka. I really love this keyboard. I mean, I mean hoyto exactly exactly same layer ki or second keyboard ki exactly exactly same layout among spacing. I mean physical distance between buttons er keyboard ki nbo. Ki ki jonaash chhe hene. While performing experiments on radioactivity, Ernest Rutherford bombarded fast motion. Are alpha particles elements or ions or something? Rutherford's nuclear model of atom. Any substance that has mass and occupy. <laughs> I'm definitely claimed. 
Rutherford's famous alpha particle scattering experiment. A stream of high energy alpha particles from a radioactive. A alpha particles could take us to the Shirani Porabulbo. For the time in Bishashkura now, they can have alpha particle source assay. विश्वास Source was directed at a thin foil, thickness less than 100 nanometer of gold metal. 100 nanometer, how much thin? Bujo. How much? How much? How much? K95 max. 100 nanometer. How much? Gulab pasa pasi boshile? One millimeter hobe. मेजरमेंट्सर तो जो भी हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर दस हजार टा एक पापा पाँच सौ पासी बहुत हो एक टा पर एक टा पर एक टा पर एक टा यू विल गेट वन मिलीमीटर दैट मच स्मॉल इज वन हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर दिस गोल्ड फॉयल दैट वाज यूज्ड इन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट हैड अ थिकनेस ऑफ लेस देन वन हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर सो ट्राइ टू एज्यूम हाउ � Exactly, beautiful question. A question, तुमरा निजरा सास कर बेकर बा, जो दिस निजरा सास कर बेकर तो ना पर आशा जो जब कर बा। After class. So this experiment, the difficulty of this experiment was to make this entire chamber evacuated. That was one of the difficulty, but which was possible. But making this gold foil extremely thin was the biggest challenge of all, and that's the only reason that they they prefer to use gold because gold is such a metal metal, which can sustain. Continuous metal bonding, even at an extremely thin thickness, unlike other metal. The next metal which can do uh, behavior similar to gold is aluminium. Aluminium or silver? I think aluminium. That can be also beat down into extremely thin sheets or foil. I mean, foil is basically the name of extremely thin sheets. I mean, you have foil, you make it thin, it becomes sheet. You you make a bit more thin, it becomes plank. It becomes more more thin, thick. It becomes uh, it becomes uh, block or something, whatever. So foil means extremely thin. So that must thin. So if you place ten thousand of these foils side by side, you would get one millimeter. That much thin. So going forward. The thin gold foil had a circular fluorescent zinc sulfide screen around it. Whenever alpha particles struck the screen, a tiny flash of light was produced at that point. The results of scattering experiment were quite unexpected. Thomson's plum pudding model was to be accurate, the big alpha particles should have passed through the gold foil with only a few minor deflections. This is because the alpha particles are heavy and the charge in the plum pudding model is widely spread. However, the actual results surprised Rutherford. Although many of the alpha particles did pass through as expected, many others were deflected at large angles while others were reflected back to the alpha source. It was observed that one 
most of the alpha particles passed through the gold foil undeflected. 2. A small fraction of the alpha particles was deflected by small angles. 3. A very few alpha particles, less than 1 in 20,000 bounced back, that is, were deflected by nearly 180 degrees. So, what does this prove? Prove the Havana? Acha, to the design the Buddha. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rutherford's gold foil experiment gave him interesting results. What he packed in a tiny entity. This occupies an extremely small the detector straight. Now, if most of the space is empty inside an atom, then most hits the look. Let us take a simplified example to understand the inferences first. Let us imagine that we have a ball made up of cotton. The cotton in the ball is very sparsely distributed and has an extremely tiny circle or sphere located at the center. This sphere is quite hard and dense. So hard that it can even resist a bullet shot against it. Now what will happen if you shoot many bullets across this cotton ball? Most of them will travel straight through the cotton surface. What will happen if a bullet hits the edge of the central heavy mass? In this case, the bullet will slightly change their path and get deviated. So looking at the size of the central mass, it's obvious that only some of the bullets will get deviated. Lastly, what happens when a bullet hits the center directly? Needless to say, it will bounce back. Because we know that the central dense mass is too hard for the bullet to pass through. So very few bullets will bounce back. This is analogous to what Rutherford had inferred about the atomic structure. His first conclusion was that most of the space inside an atom is empty. This is because most of the alpha particles could easily pass through the atoms and hit the detector straight. Now, if most of the space is empty inside an atom, then where is the positive charge located? Well, that's the second conclusion. The positive charge is compactly packed in a tiny entity. This occupies an extremely small space inside the atom. Now, why did he think so? Let's go back to our cotton ball and bullet example. Can you recall the second and the third case? Yes, the bullets get deviated on hitting the tiny sphere of the edge and they will rebound when they hit the center. Same explanation holds true for this. A few alpha particles get deviated. That means there is a possibility that these hit the edge of the positive center. Yes, and one more possibility is that they get deviated because the positive center repels the alpha particles as they are also positively charged. Also, a very small number of alpha particles rebounded. That means there is a possibility that these alpha particles had directly hit the positive center. But since the number of these rebounding particles is too small, it explains that the volume occupied by the positive center is also very small. If the space occupied would have been big enough, then the number of alpha particles bouncing back would also be greater. So this was amazing. Was not was that part not amazing? Yes. So let's say there are gold particles in the foil. It has found... actual representation. She does say less than hundred nanometer. Practically, the two or maximum three gold atom pass and this is the gold foil that they created over over man, hundreds of human hours of effort. That most of the rays pass straight through the atoms. A few rays change their path and get deflected. Lastly, very few particles bounce back. These results compelled Rutherford to come up with a new nuclear model. Let's have a look at the hypothesis put forward by him. Firstly, there is a positively charged center in an atom called nucleus. Nearly all the mass of an atom resides in the nucleus. 
Secondly, the electrons revolve around the nucleus in circular paths. Thirdly, the size of the nucleus is very small compared to the size of an atom. However, theoretically, there were many flaws in the hypothesis. Let's have a look at the drawbacks in Rutherford's hypothesis in the next video. Also, we will have a look at the explanation of atomic structure by another scientist named Niels Bohr in the next video. Bujhe gelo? Yes sir. Ekhon ei video ekhon ei decision gula ekbar poro. Decision gula ekbar poro. Decision gula niye question question thakle bolo nale pore pore slide e jacchi. Decision gula ekbar poro sobai. পুরো এক্সপেরিমেন্ট থেকে তিনটা ভাগে ভাগ করা হয়েছে তিনটা অবজারভেশন তিনটা অবজারভেশন থেকে তিনটা এক্সক্লুসিভ ডিসিশন আমি এটা পর্যন্ত প্রুফ করতেছে যে একটা নিউক্লিয়াস প্রেজেন্ট আছে তাই তো এক্স্যাক্টলি এর আগ পর্যন্ত নিউক্লিয়ার অ্যাটম মানে অ্যাটমের মাঝখানে যে নিউক্লিয়াস থাকে সেটা আমাদের ডেফিনিট ছিল না দিস এক্সপেরিমেন্ট ওয়াজ দা ফার্স্ট ইন দা হিস্ট্রি অফ ম্যানকাইন্ড দ্যাট গেভ আস ডেফিনিটিভ প্রুফ अबाउट দা স্ট্রাকচার অফ অ্যাটম এর আগ পর্যন্ত যা ছিল সবই ছিল হাইপোথিসিস बड़ो हो तो তার নাম্বার অফ ডিফ্লেক্টেড পার্টিকেলস কি হইতো আর আর কম বেশি হতো আর বেশি হইতো বাট বেশি তো হয় নাই না স্যার কম এই বলো আলফা পার্টিকেলস হলো কি ডিফ্লেক্ট মানে অ্যাঙ্গেলে চলে যাচ্ছে কারণ ওরা নিউক্লিয়াস এর সাথে মানে বাড়ি খেয়ে সামথিং নাকি বোথ আর পজিটিভ তাই ওরা ডিফ্লেক্ট করতেছে ওয়েল বিউটিফুল কোশ্চেন ওয়েল এখানে অ্যানিমেশনের বোঝার সুবিধার জন্য ওরা দেখা যায় যে ফিজিক্যালি কলিশন হচ্ছে বাট অ্যাকচুয়ালি ট্রু টু বি অনেস্ট ওয়েনএভার দা পজিটিভলি চার্জ আলফা পার আলফা পার্টিকেলস অর হিলিয়াম নিউক্লিয়াই দে গেট ক্লোজ টু দা হাইলি পজিটিভলি চার্জ গোল্ড নিউক্লিয়াস দে ডোন্ট অ্যাকচুয়ালি এভার ডু ফিজিক্যাল কন্টাক্ট অ্যাজ দা আলফা পার্টিকেল গেটস ক্লোজ টু দা নিউক্লিয়াস আই মিন দা ক্লোজার ইট গেটস টু দা গোল্ড নিউক্লিয়াস দা মোর স্ট্রংলি ইট স্টার্টস টু গেট রিপালস এন্ড দ্যাট রিপালশন এসেনশিয়ালি deviates the particle they don't ever actually do physical contact so at the angle is acha it totally rebound korche ota keno hoy eta position ta hocche je mona koro tumi ekta tumi tumi ekta round ekta solid ekta sphere e mona koro tennis ball marte so sob gula tennis ball ki tomar dikhe firat ashbe what is likely to happen many of the tennis balls are going to bounce up down left and right right राइट थिंग <laughs> that highly positively thing highly positively charged thing which was located which was highly positively charged that part was done up to the decision to must have been highly massive or very massive because it had the capability to rebound that the alpha uh, alpha particles without themselves getting replaced by even a slight i mean think about it uh, if you let's say you have a wall 
if you shoot a tennis ball towards the wall, what's going to happen? It's going to rebound back. Because the tennis the, the wall has a significantly high mass or inertia compared to a tennis ball. Right? Yes, sir. But if you shoot a wrecking ball towards the wall, the wrecking ball is going to smash through. Because the wrecking ball has a much higher inertia compared to the wall, so that's why it can break through. The alpha particles could not break through those particles. The alpha particles were rebound back. This is only possible if the concentrated mass of those small particles had to be extremely large that had the capability or that had the inertia to rebound the alpha particles back. That proves that those, those small, small particles, highly positive charged particles, must also have to be highly massive as well, which essentially brings us to the idea, this is highly dense. So the last paragraph, finally, a part of the pura jinishta ke samari kora hoos, a jinishta paro. Oh, sir. Oh, sir, by small it is meaning the size and by massive it is meaning the density, right? Yes, yes, you can, you can understand it that, by that manner, yes. Sir, the question, Shiro. Follow. Sir, how the alpha particles like vegan? Alpha particles like vegan, I'll be able to come now. Alpha particles and this is the question available to you. By designing a lead block with a very tiny hole and placing an alpha particle source inside that lead block or natural radioactive source, you could make a readily available alpha particle source. Alpha particle source was available to the scientists as a positively charged particle. So, the lead block is part of the Scientists have been uh, have been doing experiments using radioactivity for a really long time. So that that thing was somewhat like this. At the bottom actually. Sir, so wouldn't the negative? Monogor, A says that a lead block with a very tiny hole. Okay. A hole, Betore, A jagate, Alpogachu, highly alpha particle source, ready to material dawas. Now, essentially, this ready to material is going to shoot alpha particles in random directions by natural radioactivity. But most of those alpha particles are going to get absorbed around. Most of them are going to get absorbed around. Hello? But only the only the particles which are going to be coming along this MA along this hole, these particles are going to be coming out through this path. That's why they used alpha particles. Okay, sir. That's the design. Sir, positively charged, can we use particles? Alpha particles are positively charged. Positively charged particles are used to be able to do it. Now, you can experiment with active resistance. I'm going to say that 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 I'm Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Each alpha particles would eventually hit there and produce one speck of light because that's how fluorescent screens work, which you have learned in the CRO. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The number of specks altogether produced in all the parts of this of this screen. Actually, the screen is actually circular. Mass can all put together the footage chilo, that they got alpha particles there. It was not like this. Mane pura dugu chilo. They had a very sharp count for how many specks of light were happening. Within a given amount of time, and that number perfectly matched with the number of alpha of alpha particles coming out, which means all the alpha particles were accounted for. Which also proved that no alpha particles got absorbed in the atom, or the gold foil did not absorb any alpha particle. Which comes into proving that they did not get absorbed, which means inside the <coughs> atom there must not exist a highly negatively charged particle, because if if there did exist a highly negatively charged particle. 
that would have absorbed those alpha, alpha particles, but they didn't. Positively charged particles are like but positively charged particles are the way proof that all the alpha particles were accounted for. The number of specks of light that was produced in the fluorescent screen was equal within the limit of within the limit of uh, experimental accuracy. Uh, it was acceptable. It was equal. So that's why the positively charged particles was so interesting. Electronic yeah, absorb hoi nai. Na hoar juno tara je decision na decision hoche je in the nucleus the positively charged particle must have been extremely small and concise and highly positively charged, where the negative charge must have been very dispersed or spread around. As a result, that highly dispersed negatively charged particles could not have the capability to actually stop and absorb and store the alpha particles. Hence the whole idea of the shell. Oh, high speed Sir. positively charged particle to me absorb because these particles are coming into the goal fall with a really pretty large amount of kinetic energy, a pretty high speed. If you want to stop these particles and absorb those particles, your negatively charged particles have to have that capability to reduce their speed to zero and be able to absorb them up, right? That would have been possible if the negatively charged particle was that much capable or they did produce that much of a strong electric field which is going to stop those alpha particles and absorb them within. But that did not happen. Sir, hello, we positive charge particles, many alpha particles are the strength of the electrons will absorb. Yes. Then you go to the electrons, the cell particles will. Alpha particles will electrons need the power now because gold is not going to give up the electrons. Gold is a very inert material. And the amount of time by uh, the amount of time by which they actually cross the diameter of that foil is so small that they do not essentially produce the chemical bond to strip out the electron from the gold foil gold nuclei gold atom diameter chinta koro dute gold atom diameter chinta koro oi tuku length cover korte alpha particle joto tuku time nibe oi tuku time er moddhe alpha particle gold er ekta electron er sathe chemical bond create kore sarte parbe na because they were that much fast. Yes, sir. Hello. Sabir. The gold has a lot of electrons. Why don't those electrons magnetic field work into the trapping the alpha particles? Because they were dispersed. They were spread around. Not oh, concentrated okay. like the nucleus. So in order to block the uh, Alpha particles, they needed to have converged and made a magnetic field strong enough. But since they're dispersed... Electric field. Electric field. Electric field. Since they're dispersed, the electric field is everywhere, but just not strong enough. Exactly. So that's, that is also another, another reason to say that why the gold nucleus, gold nucleus had to have all the positive charge concentrated at the center. Try to understand. Technically speaking or theoretically speaking, the, the, the range of any elliptic field is infinite. The further close you get to a charged particle, the stronger the field becomes. Alpha particles were passing through the nucleus, uh, through, through the atom, and as a result, they were passing through the positively charged field of the nucleus as well. But whenever the particles are going pretty far away from the gold nucleus, they were almost not at all affected by that elliptic field because they are passing across really far away. Now, this really far away have to be understood in a scale. Try to understand. If I give you a simple idea, if you think for a regular football stadium or Olympic stadium, if you place a P or a P E A, it's a motor shooting. Yes, sir. The center of the kickoff point and if you consider the last row of the gallery as the first shell, that is a practical scaled version of a hydrogen atom. So, nucleus kothutuku chuto eta bujo. Bujo da batte se? Yes, sir. If you place a P at the center of a football, that is the nucleus that is the atom. Football field. Football field. <laughs> oh, oh, if we place a P at the center of a football field, 
in that case, the last row of the gallery can be considered as the first shell for a hydrogen atom. Okay, sir. That's really small. That's really small. Exactly. That's why when the alpha particles are going across far away from that P, they were not all, at all affected. But particles which are going really close to that point, they were significantly affected and got some deflection. And particles which were aiming straight to that P, they had to bounce backwards. So that means the nucleus has an insane density because if they have the majority of the atoms mass. Absolutely right. correct. So if you think that, uh, does that even also mean that we are mostly empty space? The answer is yes. Does it also mean that the entire universe is mostly empty space? Also yes. Bujagalo. Yes, sir. But we never feel it in our bodies because our bodies has that large number of atoms. Exactly. We not feel like empty space. Exactly. I mean, the reason the reason it was very important for the gold foil to be that much thin for this experiment to work out, because if you take a thick enough gold foil, the the nuclei might be really far apart from each other, but a good number of nuclei within a net might as well prove to be a continuous wall where the individual bricks are pretty far apart. Manaho chere kom je mano koro chhe tumi ekta wall shoot korte so mano koro wall ta chhe metal de banano. Kono e kono bulleti straight line jao kono bulleti tomar kiya banana wall bhi thodi painted kor banana. Try to visualize this. Now if I take all the individual bricks and horizontally space them out far away far away from each other, and if you still shoot horizontally. Then you are still not going to be able to shoot or to send those bullets farther away, can you? Because down the path, at at one point or another, the bullets would have to hit those uh, uh, metal bricks. The only way you can have the bullets could pass through those metal bricks if you really thin out that metal. That's where the thickness of two or three atom uh, the thickness comes down. That is exactly why. Very few alpha particles did show us the depression. If we did this experiment with a thick enough gold 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 plate, more, almost nearly all the alpha particles would get absorbed because they would essentially come across either the first atoms uh, nuclei, uh, nuclei or the second or the third or the fourth. Maybe down the line they might across eventually come across the million millionth number of gold nucleus, but they would not have enough space in in a straight line path to actually pass through the gold 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 brick or gold plate. That's why the thickness had to be very small for this experiment to work out. So can we say it like this, that Jay, if the gold is thick, it is not possible for the alpha particles to avoid the nucleus of each and every single one of the layers of the gold atoms. It could have to... Correct. That's exactly what I'm trying to uh, pass across. Hold on, what do you want to say? Yes, sir. Okay. So, ask ask your father for one hour. We have to make a DC. Our next class, I'm like, and we're going to talk about these stuffs. Thank you very much. I love this. Good night. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you. Bye.